Assalamu alaikum my dear kids of class 2 welcome back to another virtual lesson which is being assembled by your own school metropolitan today we are going to start a new chapter unit number 3 cooking it up so here's the picture which is on the very first page of the unit you can all see it it's on page number 18 okay <clears throat> In this picture, you can see there is a witch who is cooking stew and she is putting a spider in her stew and she is holding a magic wand through which she do magic tricks and she is living in front of a castle. If you can see it in the picture, there is a castle in front of her house. There is a van in her hand and she is cooking a stew in her pot. And a frog is jumping, jumping out of the stew pot. And she is putting a spider. My dear students, she is a witch because she can do magic tricks. The one who, a woman who can do magic tricks is called a witch. And as you all can see, how does she look? She is a tall woman having a very tall hat with stars on it. And she has short hair with long nose and big wide eyes and a big chin. And she can do all the magic tricks through her hand. That's all my dear students for right now. Explanation is done. Let's do the exercise which is on this page as well. Page number 18, exercise A. Okay. You all have to do this exercise in your book. In this exercise, you all have to listen to your teacher. That means you have to listen to me and circle the correct word. So go and grab your pencil so that we can do the exercise. Example is Hilda is a witch. This is a witch and her name is Hilda. She is a witch. How do you know that she is a witch? Because she can do magic spells. She is not a fairy. She is not a giant. She is a witch. Then <clears throat> the next one is she lives in a dash as you all can see she lives in a tall building and it's called castle she lives near a castle and where she lives it's also a castle so she does not live in a house she does not live in a flat she lives in a castle so we will circle it like this second one is she is wearing a tall black hat, green hat or a red hat. Tell me my dear students, what is the color of her hat? Look into your books. She is wearing a black hat. Okay, the next one is there are moons, suns or stars on her head. <clears throat> Among these, Tell me, student, what is on her head? Are these moons or suns or are these stars? These are stars. So, there are stars on her hat. After that, she has a long neck, nose or eye. As you all can see in this picture, what, what is the long thing on her face? Neck, nose or eye? The long thing is nose okay the fifth one is uh, her hair is short long and or curly tell me my dear students by looking at the picture carefully are these long hairs short hair or curly hair what are curly hair that had that has the curl in it there are no curls this is not called long hair, so she has short hair. She can do magic, tricks, smells or spells. What did I just tell you? She can do magic, tricks with her wand. And the last one is, 
she is cooking stew in her pot jug or mug what is this is this a jug mug or a pot this is a pot so as you all can see all these sentences are linked with this picture let's repeat these sentences again and turn it into a story hilda is a witch she lives in a castle she is wearing a tall black hat and there are stars on her head she has long nose her hair is short she can do magic tricks with her wand and she is cooking stew in her pot that's all for this exercise my dear students okay students now it's time to do vocabulary meanings of this chapter so the first word is castle what is a castle a fortified building which means a building which was built in an ancient time with big bricks that are visible as you all can see in the picture this is called a fortified building then which a woman with magical powers as you all can see also in this picture this woman is a witch because she has magical powers then tricks an act of a magician tricks are those acts of magician because we and i don't have tricks we don't have mag magical tricks in our hand because we don't have any equipment of it so the tricks which magicians do are called tricks when a hand had narrow stick or rod as you all can see she is holding a wand which is a narrow type of stick having a star on it but all the ones don't have star on it all of them are narrow some of them are made of stick and some are of rods that's why they are called wand and they do magic tricks through their wands then stew food cooked by slowly boiling as you all can see there's flame lighted in <clears throat> under the pot and it's boiling the stew this is stew is made after slowly boiling so the food which is cooked by slowly boiling it is called stew now student it's time to make some sentences so the first one is house what will be the model sentence of this word let me write one i'll make the sentence i live in a big house so if your house is big write big house if your house is small write write small house if you have a giant house write giant house okay so the second word is brown so i will make the sentence i like brown color <clears throat> then the next word is cow i will make the sentence of this word we just bought a cow right so we bought a cow on eid right we just bought a cow on eid al azha this next word is loud what what type of noises are loud horn my cars horn is loud then toy i have a toy car then the last word is town i live in a big 
sound. So my dear students, these are the model sentences. You can make them as well, but you can make your own sentences as well. Okay, my dear students, now we are going to do the last exercise of today's lesson, which is of picture composition. So open up your books, page number six, so that you can do the picture composition in your copy with me. Okay, so this picture is on page number six. Let me repeat it again. This picture is on page number six. So open page number six of your book and then start making sentences with me. The very first sentence is about, this is Tom and we are going to do about Tom's family. So as you all can see, Tom is riding a tricycle. So the very first sentence will be, Tom is riding a tricycle. Okay. My students, let me tell you why am I saying this as a tricycle. When <coughs> the car or a bike has three tires in it and it moves on all three of them, then that particular car or the transport equipment is called a tricycle. A tricycle is what? Which has three tires and it moves on all of them okay so here Tom is riding a tricycle and the second <coughs> sentence is Tom's sister is sitting on his lap Tom's sister is Okay, what else can you see in this picture? Here is Tom's mother who is drawing them. So the third sentence will be Tom's mother is drawing their picture. Okay, now what is Tom's father doing? He is reading newspaper. So the sentence will be Tom's father is reading newspaper. And the last sentence will be, where are all they? They are all on picnic. So, they all are enjoying the picnic. Let's repeat these sentences again. Number one. With what we can see that Tom is riding a tricycle, then Tom's sister is sitting on his lap. After that, we can see Tom's mother is drawing both of them, means Tom and his sister. After that, we can see that Tom's father is reading newspaper. And the very last is all as we all can see they all are enjoying so they are enjoying their picnic okay my dear students after completing the text work and the grammar work we are now here with the oral work of today's lesson there are three questions of general knowledge number one which is the shortest surah of the holy quran and the answer is surah kosar because surah kosar is the shortest surah of our holy quran second one is which is the biggest surah of the holy quran surah bakra surah bakra is the biggest surah of our holy quran and the last question is which is the first surah of the holy quran and the answer is 
Surah Fatiha. Let's repeat it again. Which is the shortest surah of Holy Quran? Surah Qasr. Which is the biggest surah of the Holy Quran? It's Surah Bakra. And which is the first surah of Holy Quran? Surah Fatiha is the very first surah of our Holy Quran. So my dear students, we did first the explanation of unit number 3. After that, we did <coughs> exercise, words meaning and word sentences in our text copy, picture composition in our grammar copy. And this is our oral work. Don't forget to make title page and after title page, do words meaning, then the exercise, then the word sentences. That's all for today's lesson. Hope to see you in the next one. Allah Hafiz.